major depressive disorder affects more than 19 million people in the U.S. and 2 million of them are children. Also, major depressive disorder is more prevalent in women than it is in men. Doctors show that there are some things that women do every day that make them more prone to suffering from depression. Irritated, down, angry, bored, indifferent, tired, and lethargic. We all have struggles. There's not one of us on the planet that isn't struggling with something. First, watch what you eat. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that the healthier a person's diet, the lower the risk of depression. The more processed foods you eat, the higher risk you have. Also, spending too much time alone can impact your mood. I have not been the friend that I wanted to be to my best friend. A study out of the University of North Carolina found people with close social ties had lower blood pressure, body mass index, waist circumference, and levels of inflammation markers than those who were socially isolated. Also, try to cut back on multitasking on your media. In fact, experts estimate that the average amount of time spent multitasking on devices has doubled from an hour and a half to almost three hours a day. Can you ask, as a mental health check-in, what is it that I'm desiring, longing for, but not having? So, bottom line, turn off your phone and have a healthy dinner with friends. It just might be the perk-me-up you need. And that is one avenue, but there are many more. Last year, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's National Helpline received more than 800,000 calls. That is a 27% increase from 2019, so we do not want to belittle any mental health issues that people are going through. So remember, if you need help, the helpline is free, it is confidential, it is available 24 hours a day. So if you are feeling down and you need someone to talk to, you can call 800-662-HELP.